Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing for you guys this Micro Derma Glow. Surprisingly to me, this is an effective, very easy to use portable micro dermabrasion that developers have made a really good substitute for a big professional micro dermabrasion machine, which I have, let me show you. This is it. This is my big professional microdermabrasion machine. I originally got this one to do my face and my entire body for stretch marks and things like that. It's pretty heavy. Let's put it down first. But yeah, you definitely don't need that big machine just to do your face. I really like how portable this little system is. I don't feel like it's a big process anymore, so it's definitely more encouraging to use. I have been doing microdermabrasion using my professional machine uh, for about 5-6 years. By no means I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just very interested in skincare and DIY and I really like to do these things myself. And I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this system. It has a diamond tip, which I'm going to show you a close-up look in just a minute. Uh, but this diamond tip, it helps to release all the dead skin cells and dirt off your face and has suction power like a vacuum, which vacuums away all that dirt and gunk off your skin, leaving it very nice, soft and smooth. And this type of extracting is good for your skin, it definitely exfoliates your skin, it uh, deep clean your pores, it gets rid, of, gets rid of all that dirt and gunk that clogged under your pores, it definitely also helps to even your skin tone, minimize your pores, I really really like it so far and it's been working very well so I'm going to show you how to use it but first let me show you everything that came with this bundle. Okay guys so like you see it's a small handheld device that fits on your bathroom counter very easily because this is the base for it. I'll show you. So I usually place it inside the base like this it locks in and then it came with this USB cord that you can plug it in and charge it. You can even use your laptop to charge it. It also came with two different diamond heads, one for larger area and one, put this one down, and one for a smaller area like your nose and a bunch of filters. These are available online too because you probably need to get some more of these. Little brush to clean the diamond heads and I'll show you how to do that when we get there. A very short instructional booklet and a cute little bag for travel. Okay, so these are the filters. This is how they look like. Now, if this is the first time you're using your machine, you probably notice they have it all ready for you and little gray filter is there for your first use. I thought that was cool, but always make sure you place a filter in before you start. And to do that, usually just to place a little filter inside this bottom of the tip and then you place the tip on the system just like that. Now the first thing you want to make sure you charge your device. I think it took a little less than three hours the first time to get it fully charged. So just to plug it in and make sure you wash your face. It's very important to use this treatment on a clean dry face. I usually like to do it after shower but if I don't go for a shower I wash my face and I like to use my facial steamer to steam my face for 10-15 minutes just to help open my pores and get my skin ready for this treatment. Hopefully I can show you the little screen over here but a lot of light just reflecting on it. Um, so these are the buttons. This one turn the machine on and off. Let's turn it back on. You have this one to select uh, auto mode or manual mode. So I usually like to use auto mode and the arrow up and down to change the level. Let's see, it's on level one right now. So you can select level two or three, or you can go back to level one. So today I'm going to use auto mode on level two. And I just follow the instructions on the screen. It has also audible tone. So when you have to move to different section, it will beep for you. And it's a pretty quiet too. Let me turn it on so you can hear it. You just press this little button here. And it's also helpful to pause it. So if you need to go get something or, uh, you know, do anything, you can just pause it and resume like that.
So I'm holding the device in one hand and with my other hand I pull my skin back to make it easier to move the device over my skin. I did the other side of my cheek too but the clip was too blurry so I edited it out but right now when my machine peeped to move to the next section I pass it and I switch to the other head because I find it a lot easier to do my nose with it. And I also used it today on the rest of my face and neck. It was actually a lot easier to move the device with the little head. Okay, so I'm doing my nose right now. It really does a good cleaning for such a small product. And you don't have to press very hard. I, I work in medium speed. If you go too slow, you will leave a bruising on your face. So be careful and keep moving the unit across your skin. Really, if you stay in one place, you will give yourself facial hickeys. And you can always make another pass if you don't think the area was treated well. I just finished my neck right now I switched to manual mode to do around my mouth I like to do my smile lines and be careful around your lips don't hit your lip if you accidentally hit a tiny bit of your lip area you will be wearing chapstick for a couple of days Okay guys, so definitely removed the dead skin as I can see it right now on the filter. I thought I should show you guys that too, but it usually comes out in one piece, all the dead skin on the filter. But today for some reason got stuck a little bit of the dead skin inside. So I used the poppy pen like you see to get it all out and oh my goodness, that is disgusting. Most important now, you finish with a good skincare regimen, especially since you've gotten all of the dead skin clogged or clean, so your product is going to get down in there so much better. So I like to use the recommended serum, which I'm starting to like. I use it immediately after I rinse my face, and because, like I said, the dead skin cells have been sucked away, the serum is able to penetrate much deeper into my skin right now. Next, I put my moisturizer on and a good amount of it too because my skin is very dry right now but it feels very very clean and after this I know tomorrow my skin is going to be baby soft and my makeup just blends so well after this type of exfoliation. Okay guys, now when you are all done, it's very important to clean these diamond tips before you store them away. Uh, I use hot water, so I turn my hot water on, let it war warm up a little bit, and then I use this brush to get some water inside and just brush all the dirt and yucky stuff out. Now make sure you let them completely air dry before you put them away. Okay guys, so I really feel my skin is totally new, it definitely feels softer after just a few uses and my skin tone and texture have improved and like I said earlier, I really like how portable this little system is, so it's great for traveling. I know we're not doing much of that right now, but hopefully we can do that soon. It is just awesome for someone like me who doesn't want to deal with the hassle of setting up a big bulky machine or 
this is basically just like the treatment that you go get the, at the spa the only difference is you're doing it to yourself which personally I like and I enjoy it uh, like I said it's very simple and easy to use and to clean up but I think that completes this video guys I really hope that you all enjoyed it I hope I covered everything but if I didn't if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next one Bye!